Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3, this is equal to 3 over 64. So, what are the values of x, given that x is not equal to 0? So, let's prevent the solution. We have x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3, this is equal to 3 over 64. So let's take 3 over 64 on the left hand side so that we have x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3 subtract 3 over 64. This is equal to 0. We can express minus 3 over 64. This is basically as minus 4 over 64 then plus 1 over 64. So if you simplify here, this is the same thing as minus 1 over 16. This is, if you simplify here, 64 divided by 4, this is 16, then plus 1 over 64. Now, we have that 1 over 16, this is the same thing as 1 over 4 raised to the power of 2. And 1 over 64. This is the same thing as 1 over 4 raised to the power of 3. Now substituting 1 over 16 with 1 over 4 raised to the power 2 and 1 over 64 with 1 over 4 raised to the power 3. Here we have x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3. Then subtract 1 over 4 raised to the power of 2 plus 1 over 4 raised to the power of 3. This is equal to zero so we have x to the power of 2 here now we have 1 over 4 is to the power of 2 here so we have x to the power of 2 minus 1 over 4 raised to the power of 2 then subtract x to the power of 3 plus 1 over 4 raised to the power of 3 this is equal to 0 now the next step we have x to the power of 2 minus 1 over 4 raised to the power of 2, subtract, now we can express this as x to the power of 3, minus 1 over 4, raised to the power of 3, this is equal to 0. So we have two parts here, the first part is the difference of two squares expressed as a squared minus b squared, and the second part here is the difference of two cubes expressed as a to power 3, minus b to the power of 3. From the first part here, a squared minus b squared, this can be expressed as a plus b, a minus b. So this is the same thing as x plus 1 over 4, and here x minus 1 over 4. Let's call this equation 1. The second part is a to the power of 3, minus b to the power of 3, which we can express as a minus b, a squared plus ab plus b squared. Let's apply this identity so that now we have x minus 1 over 4, then we have x squared plus we have x over 4, then plus we have 1 over 4 squared, this is 1 over 4 squared, which is 1 over 16. Cross the parentheses, this is equal to equation 2. This is equation 2. So, let's combine equation 1 and 2, so that we have x plus 1 over 4. Then x minus 1 over 4. Subtract, here we have x minus 1 over 4, cross the parentheses, then we have x squared plus x over 4, then plus 1 over 16, cross the brackets here, this is equal to 0. From here we have that x minus 1 over 4, it's common here, we can factor out x minus 1 over 4, so that into the parentheses, we have x plus 1 over 4, subtract 
here we have x squared plus x over 4 plus 1 over 16 cross the parentheses this is equal to 0 so this implies that we have two parts here the first part is x minus 1 over 4 this is equal to 0 the second part is a which is x plus 1 over 4 minus x squared minus this is minus times plus x over 4 this is minus x over 4 then minus times plus 1 over 16 minus 1 over 16 this is equal to 0 so from the first part here we have x1 is equal to 1 over 4 this is the first value of x that is x1 this is a real solution let's solve for the corresponding values of x here so from the first part here we have x1 is equal to 1 over 4 from the second part here we have x plus 1 over 4 minus x squared minus x over 4 minus 1 over 16 this is equal to 0 we have that this x is a whole number so this is over 1 x squared is a whole number so this is over 1 and the lcm here is equal to 16 so let's multiply everything here by 16 here we multiply also by 16 also here by 16 and here 16 so x times 16 this is 16 x then plus 16 divided by 4 this is 4 so plus 4 minus we have x squared times 16 we have 16 x squared then subtract here we have 16 divided by 4 this is 4x then minus this is 16 and 16 simplifies so minus 1 this is equal to 0 so now we have minus 16 x squared so here we have minus 16 x squared then plus 16 x then plus here we have 4 minus 4 x then minus 1 this is equal to 0 so this is minus 16 x squared this is 16 x minus 4 x this is plus 12 x 4 minus 1 this is plus 3 this is equal to 0 now let's divide both signs by minus 1 so that now minus 16 x squared divided by minus 1 this is 16 x squared then plus 12 x divided by minus 1 this is minus 12 x then plus 3 divided by minus 1 this is minus 3 this is equal to 0 so this is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c this is equal to 0 from this quadratic equation a is equal to 16 b is equal to minus 12 and c is equal to minus 3 so let's solve for x2 comma x3 which is equal to x2 x3 this is equal to minus b we apply the quadratic formula minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 you see everything here divided by 2 times a so this implies that a we have minus minus 12 plus or minus the square root of minus 12 squared minus 4 times a which is 16 then times c which is minus 3 everything here divided by 2 times a which is equal to 16 so here we have minus times minus 12 this is 12 plus or minus the square root of minus 12 squared this is 144 then plus minus 4 times 16 this is equal to minus 64 times minus 3 this is plus 192 everything here divided by 16 times 2 which is equal to 32 so this implies that here we have 12 plus or minus the square root of 
144 plus 192. This is equal to 336 divided by 32. So from here, we have 12 plus or minus. We can express 336. This is basically 16 times 21. Everything here divided by 32. So this implies that A, we have 12 plus or minus the square root of 16, this is 4, then square root of 21. Everything here divided by 32. So we have here, we have 12 plus or minus, this is 4 square root of 21 divided by 32. So we can factor out 4 from here. So we have 4 into the parentheses. This is 3 plus or minus square root of 21. Everything here divided by that 2. So let's simplify by 4 here. That 2 divided by 4, this is 8. So we have 3 plus or minus square root of 21 divided by 8. So this is x2 comma x3 x2 and x3 we have x2 comma x3 which is 3 plus or minus the square root of 21 over 8 we have three solutions to this algebra problem such that x1 is 1 over 4 x2 x3 this is 3 plus or minus the square root of 21 over 8 so let's verify here let's verify if you recall, we end that x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 3 over 64. Now, let's substitute x1, which is 1 over 4. So we have 1 over 4 raised to the power of 2. Subtract 1 over 4 raised to the power of 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 3 over 64. So 1 over 4 is to power 2. This is 1 over 16. Subtract 1 over 64. This should give us a value of 3 over 64. The LCM here is 64. So we have 64 divided by 16. This is 4 times 1. This is 4 minus 64 divided by 64 this is 1 1 times 1 this is 1 this is supposed to give us a value of 3 over 64 4 minus 1 this is equal to 3 over 64 and this is equal to 3 over 64 so this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this implies that x1 1 over 4 satisfies the equation as well as x2 and x3 and this proves that we have three solutions to this algebra problem so kindly follow the steps like this video and subscribe kindly like this video and subscribe see you in the next video